Hi, my name is Ron Petrinovich, and I'd like to welcome all of you to our workshop on living benefits. Uh, what I'd like to accomplish in the next 10 or so minutes is just to help you have an understanding of what are living benefits and how, how is this something that can help protect your family in case you get sick, real sick. So uh, I'm going to share with you things I didn't know a few years ago, and so let's get started. Uh, problem. Every year, about 6 million people in America are going to have a heart attack, stroke, or cancer. And the good news is most of those people are going to live. They're not going to die. So 70% of them live. But here's what's kind of scary. Of the 70% that live, about half of them are going to go bankrupt. And, and that's scary, right? You get sick, you go bankrupt, you lose everything. And one of the reasons is if you get sick, Who's going to pay your bills? A lot of people say, well, I have health insurance, I'm covered. But if you think about it, the health insurance hopefully is going to pay your doctor in the hospital. And most of the time, not even all of that, by the way. But if you get sick and can't go to work, who's going to pay your bills? And what I've learned in the last several years is many times when one of two spouses gets sick, the other one can't go to work because they're busy at home taking care of the other sick spouse. So if you can't go to work, who's going to make your mortgage payment? Who's going to buy you food? Uh, who's going to pay your health insurance, your car payments? All the rest of the uh, li basic living necessities. Uh, so living benefits, everybody, was designed not by the insurance industry, but by doctors, the Bernard brothers, back in 1967 did the first heart transplants. And, and so imagine this, you're a doctor, you do a heart transplant, open the person up, put a new heart in, hook it back together, and the person lives. And you do it again and they live. But they noticed a trend that these people were living medically and dying financially. And so these doctors went to the insurance industry and said, you know, a life insurance policy really is a death insurance policy, and if you die, it's going to pay a benefit. But what if you get real sick and you don't die? That life insurance policy is not going to do any good. So anyway, I was in, so this was back in 1967, and the concept of critical illness caught on all over the world, big time all over the world, but not so much in America and, until the last four or five years. So our company, Freedom Equity Group, our goal is to bring this message to the American public. And you need to know about this new kind of life insurance. Life insurance you don't have to die to use. Uh, you know, when we talk in our world about technology, uh, most of us, we update our cell phones, our computers, our televisions, maybe our cars. But do we need to upgrade our life insurance? And I'm here to tell you this, there is such a, there's an old kind and a new kind. And if you have a policy and the only way that you can get to that death benefit is by dying, I'm here to tell you that you own the old-fashioned kind of life insurance. You really should consider for your family upgrading your technology. So when it comes to living benefits, there's three benefits. It's important for your family that your policy have all three of these one out of the three is not going to do it. So there's a critical illness, and uh, this, the, the main three is heart attack, stroke, and cancer. However, I've learned that some companies will cover up to as many as 15 or 16 different sicknesses. But those are the main three, and if something like that happens to you, you can turn in a claim. The next one's a chronic illness rider. Now, I learned something on this one. 90% of Americans don't own long-term care. Well, why not? Two reasons. It's expensive, right? But if you don't use it, you lose it. You pay it all those premiums, you don't get anything for it. Well, I've got advice. If you're part of the 90% of Americans that don't own long-term care, at least upgrade your life insurance and make sure that you've got a policy with a no cost, by the way, no additional cost, critical, chronic, and terminal illness rider. The terminal illness is pretty prevalent, but basically if your doctor says you're going to die in the next year or two years, depends on the company, 
you're going to be able to access the death benefit. And I want to emphasize this. You've got a great policy when you've got not only all three, but all three with no additional premium. That's the big deal right there. So, people say to me all the time, Ron, uh, what type of life insurance do I have to buy? Uh, does it come with uh, term life insurance? And the answer is yes. We've got a few carriers that, that have low cost term insurance. In fact, lower cost than most term. So you can buy term, rent it, and have your living benefits. Uh, you can uh, get a guaranteed universal life, which I call pretty much a permanent term type policy that will go all the way out to age 120 if you'd like it. So you can rent it with term, you can own it with a GUL, or you can buy an index universal life with these living benefits. So I, I think sometimes the best way to learn things is let me tell you about some of the different claims that we've had. This one right here was our first claim. A guy named Johnny, a 48-year-old guy. He had a 20-year term with a, a brand name term insurance company, good company, but he had no living benefits. So he decided to replace his old-fashioned 20-year term with a new 20-year term and uh, got good news. The new policy saved them about $20 or so a month. So it was cheaper than the old policy and it had living benefits. Johnny uh, paid his premium for five months, got a stomach ache, went to the doctor and realized he had stage four stomach cancer. You guys, this was the first ever living benefits claim in my career. Scared the heck out of me. How the heck does this guy go from no detection of cancer to stage four in just five months. So we turned in the claim really not knowing what was going to happen. Been in the business then for over 25 years, never had a claim, a living benefits claim ever. Well, a few months later, Johnny got a check in the mail. This was August 1st, 2012, $344,000. Now here's what I learned on this one. By the way, his face amount was in the area of 380000 so out of 380, he got a discounted amount, but he didn't have to wait till he was gone to get it. But here's what I learned: guess, guess who couldn't go to work? Johnny couldn't go to, couldn't go to work, but neither could his wife. And Johnny had the means to take care of his family and not lay in bed sick and dying from cancer and watching himself get kicked out of the house. And you know what, everybody, we made a difference for that family, right? Then there was Bob. Bob was a 59-year-old guy when he exchanged a, a permanent policy, the, his old-fashioned policy, for a new Index Universal Life policy. About three, four years into the policy, uh, he had a sore leg. Uh, it ended up being Lou Gehrig's disease. We turned a, a claim in, and in less than a week, he had $189,000 in his checking account. We couldn't find Bob after that. He left with his wife to the Philippines for several months. Uh, but he had Lou Gehrig's. And once again, we made a difference. Bob didn't have to die to, to access part of this death benefit. Uh, then there was a friend of mine named Greg. Greg and I worked together for about 15 years. Uh, Greg uh, had a policy for three, four years, a term life insurance policy. And... Uh, Took a physical one day, passed with living, passed, he was in great health. And the doctor said, Greg, have you ever had a colonoscopy? He says, I never have. So he went and got a colonoscopy, found out he had stage 3 cancer. Uh, a few weeks later, he gets a check for 198000 And here's what I learned uh, with Greg. He told me, Ron, I had health insurance, thought I was covered, and I had a certain degree of coverage, but... For me to get the really good cancer treatments cost me $100,000. And without this living benefit check, I would have had the substandard coverage. I got, to get the, I got to get the good treatment. So we made a difference for his family. He didn't have to die to access the death benefit. And then just a couple months ago, uh, this guy right here, Dr. Uh, John, a guy that I've had an opportunity to meet, who you might have seen on our uh, Living Benefits documentary, uh, Doctor, uh, this is kind of a different case. 
He bought his policy for a completely different reason. This doctor was interested in an index universal life insurance policy, and he put quite a bit of money. He put fifty thousand into the policy, an additional two thousand dollars a month in premium, and what he wanted to do was put toss a bunch of money into an insurance policy. And his plan, he was 64 years old, was to take money out at retirement, age 70, income tax free. So that was his goal with his policy. So anyway, uh, he bought his policy, uh, put the 50000 in, made one premium payment of $2,000, and he got throat cancer. And... Uh, one of our insurance companies sent him a check for $734,000. There he is sitting with the check in hand. And uh, I had a chance uh, when we filmed the documentary to introduce him to Jim Mallon. I said, Dr. John, meet Jim Mallon. He invented living benefits. And uh, he gave Jim a hug and with tears in his eyes and said, you saved my life. See, it's not just the money. Emotionally, I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about money anymore. You saved my life. I, I'm free of cancer. I'm back to work. I feel great. I'm healthy. Changed outcome. Uh, and then uh, just uh, this week, this young gal here uh, was diagnosed uh, a, a few months ago with breast cancer. And uh, she had a, a term life insurance policy with one of our great insurance companies. And uh, she chose to accelerate her entire policy. And uh, she got a check this week for $412,000. She's a single mom. Her name is Amy. A single mom with an eight-year-old son. And Amy no longer... Amy can spend all of her energy now fighting cancer instead of fighting cancer and that financial strife that so many people have to fight. So uh, this kind of concludes the workshop. I, I, you know, I think you'll learn more by individual cases than, than any other way. But everybody, here, here's what's scary. We don't know who's going to die too soon. Nobody knows. We don't know who's going to get cancer, heart attack, stroke, and get sick, and maybe they can't go to work, maybe the spouse can't go to work. We don't know who that's going to happen to. And we, also, we don't know who's going to live until they're 95 or 105. So you guys, not knowing this means we're at a lot of risk. We have a lot of risk in life. And what's kind of sad is most people say, I'm covered, I have health insurance. Let me just end by telling you this. If you have health insurance, that hopefully will pay most of your medical bills. But I learned... Not all. Dr. John had six-figure medical bills even though he had great health insurance. But if something happens to you and you can't go to work, who's going to pay your bills? So I urge you, have somebody take a look at your policies. Make sure you have the new kind and not the old kind. Upgrade your technology. Be fair to your family. Your family really needs this coverage. And most people don't even know about it. So I hope uh, this helped you uh, learn more about what we call our Living Benefits Crusade. Freedom Equity Group is the company that wants to bring these benefits to the mainstream of America so that we have choices when we get sick. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.